good morning everyone today in this episode we are going to discuss derivatives of exponential functions so far we have completed function of a function rule implicit function and derivatives of inverse trigonometric functions i suggest practice the problems then only you will understand the real concept of differentiation so in this episode we are going to discuss derivatives of exponential functions let us move on to this episode derivatives of exponential functions we are going to discuss in this episode before entering into this episode we know the formulas derivative of e power x is nothing but e power x derivative of a power x is a power x log a where a is not equal to 0 now derivative of derivative of log x is nothing but 1 by x so now these are the three formulas we should know in this session moreover all other formulas also so that we are entering to the problems total 13 problems we are going to discuss in this uh, session in this content uh, derivative of exponential functions in this content we are going to discuss 13 problems okay first problem all the problems are find d by dx so find d by dx if y is equal to a power 1 by 2 log cos x to the base k to the base k listen here we have to find d by dx find y dash or d by dx y is equal to a power 1 by 2 log of cos x to the base k to the base k can i write y is equal to a to the power log a into root of cos x can i write cos x to the power 1 by 2 cos x to the power 1 by 2 is nothing but root of cos x so a to the power log a root of cos x here base and function are same so that this will become 1 according to the properties of logarithm so a power log a that means here bases are same that's why i am cancelling this this answer as 1 so now you will get y is equal to root of cos x now d by by d x is equal to derivative of root x is what 1 by 2 root x so 1 by 2 root in place of x i have cos x so again i have to derivative of cos x i have to take derivative of cos x that means minus sin x divided by 2 into root of cos x is the required answer for first one is it clear is it clear to everyone a to the power 1 by 2 log a cos x a to the power log a i am taking this power 1 by 2 to the whole power that means nothing but root of cos x so that is log of a to the power b how can i write b log b no same concept log of log of a to the power b so here b is nothing but 1 by 2 a is nothing but root of uh, cos x so root of cos x cos x to the power 1 by 2 is nothing but root of cos x so y is equal to root cos x d by dx is something but minus sin x divided by 2 root cos x is it clear so second question y is equal to y is equal to e power minus x find y dash find y dash see y is equal to e power minus x we know that derivative of e power x is e power x e power minus x means what is the derivative that is what we are going to find out so d by by d x is equal to d by d x of e power minus x into derivative of minus x so derivative of minus x that is e power minus x into in place of x i have minus x that's why i am taking derivative of minus x so into minus 1 so this implies that minus of e power minus x is it clear derivative of e power x is e power x derivative of e power minus x is minus e power minus x is it clear to everyone 
This is what this. Third question, y is equal to e power x cube. How to find derivative? d y by dx is equal to d by dx of e power x cube. e power x cube. That is e power x cube. Derivative of e power x cube is nothing but e power x cube into derivative of x cube. In place of x, I have x cube. That's why I have derivative of x cube. That means 3x square into e power x cube or not? 3x square into e power x cube. Now, y is equal to e power cos x. y is equal to e power cos x. So, derivative of e power cos x is nothing but dy by dx is equal to derivative of e power cos x. e power cos x. See, in place of x, I have cos x. So, e power cos x into derivative of cos x. That means minus sin x into e power cos x. Derivative of cos x is what? Minus sin x, e power cos x. Is it clear? Now, fifth question, y is equal to e power sin inverse x. Provided you should know the derivative of sin inverse x. What is derivative of sin inverse x? 1 by root of 1 minus x square. So, dy by dx is equal to d by dx of e power sin inverse x. That implies that derivative of e power sin inverse x is e power sin inverse x into derivative of sin inverse x. See here, in place of x, I have sin inverse x. That's why I am again differentiating sin inverse x. So, e power sin inverse x into 1 by root of 1 minus x which is the required result. Is it clear? Go through this. Very important. Go through this. Sixth question. If x is greater than 0, y is equal to root of e power root x, find d by dx. Very important problem. 6 to 1 and 8 to 1. This is very very important problem. Listen here. y is equal to root of e power root x. How to differentiate? dy by dx is equal to derivative of root of e power root x. Derivative of root x is what? 1 by 2 root x. So 1 by 2 root e power root x into derivative of e power root x. Now that is 1 by 2 root of e power root x into derivative of e power x is e power root x into derivative of root x is nothing but 1 by 2 root x. Yes or no? In place of x, I have root x, that's why I am differentiating again root x, that is 1 by 2 root x. Now, 1, sorry, e, uh, e power root x divided by 2 into 2, 4, root of e power root now listen here carefully. Till up to here you understood? Listen here. Denominator you have A divided by sorry, numerator you have A denominator you have root A. That means this A can be written as root A into root A yes or no? so that I can cancel one root A. Similarly, here you have E power root X and the denominator you have root of e power root x. That means in place of a, I have e power root x. Yes or not? So that I can write this numerator as root of e power root x into root of e power root x. Can I write like this? This e power root x divided by 4 times root of e power root x. Yes or no? One root x root x will be cancelled. So the answer is e root of e power root x divided by 4 if you look at the answer. Is it clear? For root x is there. This root x is there. One root x will be there. 
this root x okay 2 into 2 4 root x will be there root of e power root x so root of e power root x divided by 4 root x is the required answer is it clear to everyone now seventh question go through this okay let's see that's why so seventh question is y is equal to e power x sin x y is equal to e power x divided by sin x which is nothing but a quotient rule. What is quotient rule? U by V rule. Second function into first function of the derivative minus first function into second function of the derivative the whole thing divided by second function of the square or V dash U minus U dash V divided by V square. So here second function the whole square so I am writing sin square x. Now second function into first function of the derivative minus first function into second function of the derivative the whole thing will be second function plus y. So numerator if I am taking e power x common so you will get sin x minus cos x divided by sin square x which is the required answer for d by by dx. Is it clear? Now eighth question is also very important. Go through this one. Eighth question, y is equal to sin of tan inverse of e power minus x. Sin of tan inverse of e power minus x. Listen here carefully. I am going to find dy by dx. dy by dx is equal to derivative of sin of tan inverse of e power minus x. Derivative of sin x is what? cos x. So, cos of tan inverse of e power minus x. So, into derivative of tan inverse of e power minus x. Yes or no? In place of x, I have tan inverse of e power x. That's why tan inverse of e power x. This implies that cos of tan inverse of e power minus x into derivative of tan inverse x. What's the derivative of tan inverse x? 1 by 1 plus x square. So 1 by 1 plus in place of x I have e power minus x. So e power minus x the whole square. E to derivative of e power minus x. Is it clear to everyone? See first in place of x I have tan inverse e power minus x. That's why I am taking again derivative of tan inverse of e power minus x. Again, derivative of tan inverse x is what? 1 by 1 plus x square. In place of x, I have e power minus x. That's why e power minus x is the whole square. Again, I have to differentiate e power minus x. Derivative of e power minus x. Is it clear to everyone? Now, now that is cos of tan inverse of e power minus x into 1 by 1 plus into 1 by 1 plus e power minus x into 2 that means e power minus 2x into derivative of e power minus x is what? minus e power minus x. First problem we have discussed now. So e power minus x is derivative minus e power minus x. That's why minus e power minus x. So cos of tan inverse of e power minus x into minus e power minus x divided by 1 plus e power minus 2x is the required answer. Is it clear to everyone? Very very important problem in the Go through this. Ninth question. Y is equal to e power x plus e power x square plus e power x cube plus e power x power 4 plus e power x power 5. Find dy by dx. Important problem. The same. I have to find dy by dx. dy by dx is equal to d by dx of e power x plus d by dx of e power x square plus d by dx of e power x cube plus d by dx of e power x power 4 plus derivative of e power x power 5. Yes or no? We know that derivative of e power x is what? e power x. 
plus derivative of e power x square in place of x i have x square so e power x square into derivative of I have to take derivative of this x square as well. So derivative of x square is something but two x plus derivative of e power x cube is e power x cube into derivative of x cube. Derivative of x cube is what three x square. Now next e power x power four into derivative of x power four is four x cube plus e power x power five into derivative of x power five is five x to the power four, which is the required. Is it clear? E power x plus e power x square into two x plus e power x cube into three x square plus e power x power four into four x cube plus e power x power five into five x to the power four. Is it clear? This is the way you have to differentiate. Each term you are differentiating with respect to x. Now, tenth question. Y is equal to log of sine x. Very important problem. Log of sine x. dy by dx is equal to derivative of log x is what 1 by x 1 by sin x in place of x i have sin x into derivative of what derivative of sin x now 1 by sin x into derivative of sin x is what cos x so cos x by sin x cos x by sin x is what cot x so this implies that cot x so derivative of log of sin x is nothing but cot x is it clear can you try this problem y is equal to sin of log x hold next step is all right okay just to try this sin of log x try this twelfth question y is equal to cos x by log x and 13th question is last question y is equal to e power 6 square x plus 3 cos inverse x we have to find the derivative right? now we'll do 12th question dy by dx is equal to derivative of cos x divided by log x both functions are in terms of x Hence, it is divided by. So we have to apply what Q R that is nothing but quotient rule. So second function of the whole square. So log x the whole square. Second function into first function of derivative that means minus sin x minus first function second function into first function of the derivative minus first function of the uh, first function into second function of the derivative is nothing but one by x. Is that right? So minus log x into sin x minus cos x by x the whole thing divided by log x the whole square is it clear log x the whole square minus is there if you can take minus outside make it as plus also no problem that is also correct is it clear to everyone this is the required result for 12th question y is equal to cos x by log x now 13th question y is equal to e power 6 square x plus 3 cos inverse x so d by d d by by d x is equal to first of all derivative of e power x is what e power x so e power secant square x into derivative of what sec square x so can i write derivative of sec x the whole square No problem, right? Plus three into derivative of cos inverse x because constant I have to take outside derivative of cos inverse x. So that is e power secant square x into derivative of sec x the whole square. It is of the form derivative of x square format, x power n format. n into x to the power n minus one. So two into c x into derivative of c x. Very very important problem. Listen here. Three into derivative of cos inverse x is what? Minus one by one half one minus x square. Listen here carefully. E power c x square x derivative of c x the whole square. This is of the form x to the power n. N x to the power n minus one. N x to the power two minus one is one. Into again in place of x, what I have? Sec x. That's a derivative of sec x again. Okay. 
Is it clear? Now, that is v power c square x into 2 secant x. The derivative of secant x is what? Secant x tan x. So, secant x tan x minus 3 divided by root of 1 minus x square is the required answer. Is it clear? Go through this. Very, very important part of this one. Last one. Go through this. So far, we have discussed in this episode derivatives of exponential functions. 13 problems we have discussed. Out of 13 problems, one problem I gave homework. Try that problem. Next episode, I will tell the result. If anyone did not subscribe my channel, please do subscribe and press the bell button. Thank you.